I guess she's not Morgan, but she probably won't look at her message. She's going to be so happy. My guess is I'm going to have, she's going to have friends memory because, you know, it's mm -hmm. oh, But I will be with you. I have air conditioning. So Tim said it was over. 90 in his classroom today it he has a outside, outside um it's a south facing with a deck of windows all across his classroom no part of the building isn't yeah like down by the music room i don't think that's supposedly air conditioned it, it can be temperamental well, i know north park montessori is now because i was there for asbestos gate so, oh right <laughs> I 100% know. <laughs> yeah. You guys. But sitting, Those are some crazy times. Sitting in the meetings where these people are like, we want our kids tested and we're going to sue. And meanwhile, like whoever the, the health person was, was like, you do realize that you actually, you can't test for it. Like we won't know until 30 years from now if they get mesothelioma or something. Like. It, it was it was nuts. I was just like, oh my god! I couldn't even because I was drinking wine this morning. Oh, this is Capilla. Welcome to GRPS in Grand Rapids. It was wow. Oh, yeah. It was just um, it's crazy. I mean, do you think that they were making these kids work and like? Asbestos mines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're the ones they, shipping. They were, right? <laughs> we're like, yeah. house covered in asbestos and we're fine. Or they're like, hey, kids, go lick that wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> kids, when you're eating lunch, make sure you grab a crack of those right. tiles. Now, admittedly, when they were first like, oh, there's asbestos. And told nobody like any of the information about it, kind of like the whole no backpack situation. We were all kind of like, uh, uh, again, but then they, they fumble the rollout of everything. Well, then they ended up having to have everything. at least two really big, like, town hall meetings with oh, yeah. god, John Hum, town hall, yeah, yeah, and stuff for the, the angry mob of. Scared parents.
Yeah, Charlie told me. Oh, there's somebody else. Uh, yeah, Jesse. Oops. Hi, Jesse. So we not yet have a quorum here. Um, so it might just be turn into a board executive board meeting. Um, we'll wait just a couple more minutes to see if anybody else comes. The only other person I know of that's coming is also a board member. So and um, Mr. Antima. Although he's frozen he, in a really cool he can tell him he's frozen, so I don't know if it's <laughs> like this. You are. I was too for a while. No, I see you guys all moving, but he's not moving. There, there he is. Hi, everyone. Hello. Oh, we have with Jesse. Hi. So this is going to be great. Okay. So uh, we have Gina and Jesse Antima on line. So that does, I guess, officially make a quorum, but it's basically like a board meeting plus two. So, <laughs> you know, like that all works. Um, and Allison, we were just saying if we didn't have enough people to make a quorum, we were just going to turn it into a board meeting and approve the book with ourselves. But you no, you stay. <laughs> You're here. You stay now. <laughs> so we will get started. It's a little after seven. Um, welcome, everybody. It's the last meeting. Thank you for being here. We'll try to make it a quick one, but we do have a budget to go over tonight. Um, that is the main thing on the agenda. So before we get to it, um, are there any additions, changes to the agenda or what's that? We, we would get to that shortly if there's, I don't think there's anything else. There, we sent one out when you, when you sent the email out. You, I you sent an agenda, yeah. Um, so naughty. Okay. It's been that kind of a week. All right, so we'll just get rolling on with the agenda. Gail, if you want to go ahead with that. Um, so on the agenda, we generally roll over more or less a year's worth of our budget. Um, so around 30000 at least around $30,000. So... Uh, according to my estimates, we would be rolling basically what we spend. 
That's um, so fundraising, we have our one of our biggest fundraisers is the membership drive at the beginning of the year. Um, that we had ten thousand five hundred dollars for the goal, and then our event income fundraiser, which which is the feed the teachers chili cookoff ram uh, auction and also millionaire party that we have budgeted 18,000 which is just millionaire parties alone could probably more or less cover that so we're pretty confident that that's the figure that we can reach and then we have some corporate donations here and there um, so our total fundraising that we have is 31,300 budgeted um, this year I don't know this I'm just going to attach the budget right yeah. yes we okay. had sent it to yes. we set that years. out too yeah <laughs> no i saw that yep. but that's legit right I yep. attach. Thank for you. sure so then we have um from those thirty one thousand uh we have five thousand six hundred and forty five that we have as big business expenses so that's our accountant that does our taxes for us and also helps with end of year rollover of stuff um, we have insurance that will probably go up. So that's why we increased it from 565 to 700. And then uh, the two main ones is the dues and memberships. So what we pay to the Michigan PTA, which is $5.50 per, per member. And then it's a $30 fee as well for, uh, for us. And then our QuickBooks, which is around a little over $1,000. I also added Shopify because we're going to start using Shopify as our store, and that will be 300. So 5,000 of those 31 is for the business expense for the PTSA. The rest is all community that we like to give out. So we have in the community support counseling, uh, we have hand sanitizer. If anyone has a question, it's because we bought the hand sanitizers. So we have to refill them every year. The ones in the cafeteria. Thing. So we put it in our budget <laughs> so that we pay it every year. Um, and remember that those are ours. And yes, and exactly. We're responsible for them. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> there really yeah. should be a PTSO um, then we have community care holiday gifts for 500 that is given to the counseling office for families in need generally over the holidays or during the year. Um, and that Ms. Ralston and the other counselors generally reach out to us to ask for us to give uh, gift cards and we can't because we cannot give a, a check to someone. We have, they are the ones who distribute anonymously um, the gift cards. We have an emergency family fund. So generally, if something happens, uh, same thing. The counseling can come up and ask for that. That's two fifty. And just let me say about the emergency family fund. That's usually if we make an in memoriam donation to somebody or something like that to an organization. Uh, then we have the meet and greet event that we put in our budget so that we can have a funds to do an event. Bring uh, family gathering. Uh, we have one. We do it with last meeting. In the past, they used to invite the families that would come in. So we were looking to have a lot of things to do. It was really great. So um, Charlie is. She's reimagining. Something so we haven't done the spring thing, I think, in a couple of years because of we want there to yeah. we do help out, we generally buy some stuff. Um, Looks like we lost Angela again. Yeah, I'm not confident in the Wi Fi yeah. access room. Sure, people will donate regardless. And we buy for everyone that donates to something. Um, uh, then we have the support. So we have the city voice, I guess. 
every year. That was every year. Debate also gets five hundred dollars. We have treats for SAT personal project exams. Uh, days, so that's when they go and if they need to rent inflatables or whatever, uh, we help with that. That's Yeah, it seems like that Wi-Fi is not working very well. Agreed. Can you hear me, Ardina? Yes, I can hear you. I can see you. Um, Okay. I'm just out and about. <laughs> so I don't have my camera on, but I'm honestly, I'm sitting still. Um, and then there's a lot of background noise. Right. Well, hopefully, here, quick. Just, uh, there we go. We try to get as close to what we raise in the budget and spending what we because we don't want to have that just carry carry on our account. So thank you. You'll it'll be added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, does anybody here have questions about that now? Yes. Okay. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. What about Zoom people? A thumbs up if you approve. So yes, from Mr. Antima. Ardina didn't do anything oh, yet. She did. There we go. Thumbs up from her. Okay, and Addie just joined us as well online. All right, thank you. Um, so Mr. Antima, would you like to give us your update? If there are any admin updates. Yeah, sure. Be happy to speak. Hopefully you can hear me well. I recognize Wi-Fi is going in and out a little bit. Can people hear me right now? Yes. Yes. So 
Can you hear us? You Are seem frozen. To be, yeah, you're frozen. I just, I just, <laughs> is it working now? Yes. <laughs> they say they hear you. I'm, I'm just going to speak and then maybe it'll work. Yes. <laughs> or not. Angela, could I call you and just put you on speakerphone? Yes, yes. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, just the balance for forty per hundred. So we have two key pieces here. So, uh, we okay. have to keep that okay. so, yes. Hello. Right. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Problem solving here. Thank you. Um, update. Yes, we're coming to the end of our year. Kids have a lot of energy, not much of which is academic. <laughs> <laughs> Working towards uh, finishing as strong and as collectively as we can. 10th and 11th graders were at Michigan event. Uh, 17th and 9th graders have had their class trips. Obviously, you guys have done a great job, the PPSA, with organizing the SANP for our uh, seniors, and they enjoyed that immensely, had some great feedback from that. Uh, so uh, with, with that, simply, I want to say thank you so very much on behalf of the administration team at City. And uh, I know Angela and Gail, um, you've had some great leadership on the PTSA. We simply want to say thank you for uh, your generosity, for your wisdom, for your kindness, for your uh, sharp and comedic wit that brings levity uh, to our time together here. We just want to say on behalf of Charlie and the rest of the team that we appreciate you immensely. So thank you so much for what you've done for our staff, uh, for me, for our scholars, and for the rest of our team. So you will be missed, and we appreciate you immensely. And with that, uh, we're hoping to wrap it up in the next couple of weeks. And looking forward to exams starting next week and then uh, next week, Friday. It's a wrap to the 22-23 school year and it couldn't have gone so, as smoothly as it was without your support. And so we thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions for Mr. Antima? What was the, um, so I'm a parent, I'm not a board member, but what was the deal with the buses today? And our kids sitting up there for two hours. So there was a point where uh, Charlie, Christy, uh, Megan, and I we had to almost lay ourselves ceremoniously in front of the to prevent them from leaving because our CFE crew had come back late from their school trip today at Camp Roger. Uh -huh. And so 60 students do need to get on two buses, about seven of them to be exact. And uh, so we had to hold them up, fortunately for about 10 minutes after their normal departure to make sure that these kids got home safely and soundly. Okay. I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, but that's not Michigan Adventure. That's not Michigan Adventure because they, they were supposed to be picked up at four and they got picked up at 5.45. There was yep. And uh, <laughs> we, had many, we had many frustrating conversations with our transportation team. And I will not shy away from saying it is frustrating, uh, but... There are some things that are out of our control and some things that we try to influence as best as we're able to do. And that was one of many today. Okay, so I can- Thank you. Oh, do you think oh, that was Also, there was um, actually a Facebook page where it's parents- Parents for Reliable Transportation. They actually take all of the links and they bring it so they collect them. they have mobilized they have mobilized it's okay. huge so they like to hear about all the right stuff i'm sure somebody's already shared but i will do so as an administrator who was like they can't i will finally say that there is more than enough reason to mobilize any other questions for Mr. Antima? Oh, no. Yeah. And if not, we can 
move on. Can I ask one question? Yes. If this can be different. Are there any um, major changes as far as teachers or anything next year turning over? Or we have had some retirement this year. Those positions have or are in the strong and confident process of being refilled. Um, and then we have had some success in our language department as well. Uh, that may be uh, more information than I'm able to share right now, as that might not be completely solidified, okay. uh, but it's something that we are quite hopeful in. So we've had some turnover. Uh, there's been no teachers that are leaving to go find other jobs, but we are uh, confident in our capacity this year and okay. very excited about the success that we've had, despite the stress of not being able to fill positions in the prior year. Um, but we're very hopeful in being fully staffed next year. Okay, and is Mr. Brace still staying or is he? Mr. Brace is in a potential portion of transition, but we are hoping to keep him on staff. That's all I'll say about that right now because I don't have more information to share. No, that's fine. Thank you. Is Mr. Two still going to be there next year? Sorry, say that again. Two? Mr. Two? I'm, 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 Mr. I'm, Mr. Two. That's that's what I understand. There are no transitions or changes for him. Any other questions, updates? Yes, Bruce. So uh, we wanted to officially define certain committees for re uh, recognition at the bank for depositing checks. So I'm putting that into the record. Thank you. <laughs> and, and the record of the report. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I have down um, CFE, Center for Economic Ecology, Ecology, whatever. Uh, Blanford Zoo School, City Band, City Theater. Anything else I might want to add in that regard? City, city Voice. City Voice. Because I think that sometimes if they do do a fundraiser, some people might make a check out to say voice people. Know. So it's pretty, we've never had any issues with speech and debate where we get checks. And I do even right this moment have a check made out to city band. I mean, like it's a thing and I'm sure it happens with theater. And the reason for doing this is because our bank will only accept checks that are written to the city PTSA. So oftentimes they'll be written to school or bland for our city band. Um, so I and these committees to our minutes when we go and change our banking um, the summer, if by chance we get a check made out to one of these committees, it's now noted in our official minutes that we will bring to the bank that they can accept those checks on our, or we can accept those checks. One of the tellers that I was talking to said, well, Research it. If it's in the notes, we can accept the check. Okay. So we were surprised it had nothing in the case. So okay. Like, oh, okay. So still the goal is for everybody to write. Yeah. yeah. To the, it's, it's still the goal. Correct. Yeah. It'll. It,
to do the same for the senior or high parents so that they start with a budget and not zero at the beginning of each year. So we gave 500 last year. This year it would be 400 per class. Uh, and then we will be giving an additional 500 to theater because we know that they're doing three plays this year and they do need a little bit probably of help in that. Even though their fundraising has, they're over $10,000. They, right they did really well. At yeah, they, they did, they're they in a great place, but I yeah. think um, it's a lot of times there's a lot of kids involved. And so we're trying to find places where we can reach out as much as possible. And then we wanted to give out another, uh, so another 500 to Alicia's Garden for everything she does. We would really love that she has the budget that she wants and the vision that she wants because it is it is a commemorative garden. So if she wants to go buy stuff that really would make it great, then, and she already also has a budget, but we'd like to just give back to her. So that would be a total of 4,600. So there's a little $300 gap, but I wanted to make sure that I'm cautious about what we're redistributing and what we really have. Um, and so that would make us where we would be around $40,000 of rollover mm -hmm. instead of the 44. And that's still within our year budget that we have. So, and that's so basically per year for seven through Seventh through, so this is for this year because we were in a sharp. We have additional, so we would be doing for the classes of 2024 through 2029, okay. which is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, no, 11. Okay, okay, I'm getting into 12. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, and then last year we did from 23 to 2028, 20, yeah. so they each get um, some, some funds. And you said 250 per class, that would be for the GRPS, and then 400 per class for the senior. All senior, 400. Yeah. I, I have 500. Thank you. And 500 was last year. Yep. So yeah. I'm trying to readjust. Yep. And then 500 to theater and 500 to the mm -hmm. Yes. So that would be 4,600. So, so that because senior all night party, we try to get everyone. So it would be for every single student. Same for GRPS. We try to redistribute so that it benefits the entire school. Um, that's the goal. I think they had close to a 100% participation level for the all night party this year. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh. Really just a few kids didn't make it. So that's great. Um, okay, thank you for that update. Uh, are th um, I think that's something that the executive board can, I just wanted to actually make it transparent and clear that that is what we are doing, that we do not want to keep yeah. the money that we budgeted. We already um, that. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I just wanted to make sure that it was announced to the whole membership. Okay. Because we already all ten of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The extra two people. <laughs> Are there any other questions? I just have a comment from CFE. Miss um, Phillips asked us to help her their graduation, and she also wanted to mention and thank PSA for all the help that they've done. So just want to make sure it was out there. Is there like a wrap? Because you said you thought so. Is it Zoom too? There's yes. Pronunciation. And all of them fall under this PATSA. Yes. Do they have representatives that come to these? <laughs> they should. They should. Oh, okay. yeah. Zoom, Zoom. Yep. Are we going to discuss Blanford and the alcohol issue, or is that an exact board thing? We'll discuss it privately. Privately. Yeah. All right. So, and hopefully next year we'll have some more, um, not policies but guidelines in place that make it more clear to the our sixth grade schools if they're still part of our PTSA that um, we have to have a little more communication it it used to go a little bit better um it is having dependent on which what families are involved um, correct and um 
Yeah. We I, mean, I remember joining when Emmy was at CFB. I joined the PTSA. Mm -hmm. What kind of what kind of like participation do we get just even with membership with those other schools? I mean, this to me, year, like, we're on the campus. Zebra. That's great. And I think what we're trying, what we want to try to do is to make it uniform. So every year, you know, it's going to be like, hey, person who's taking over, this is the guidelines for this position. These are the expectations. And I'd be happy to work on it, some sort of memorandum of understanding or something like that. But some of it has to do with, I, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but some of it has to do with teacher leadership when it's handed yes. to the hand, put into the hands of the parents. Um, Sherry was always like, you you are with the PTSA and, you know, we, we had our issues with Sherry. Uh, but you know, nothing. It was more like not cashing checks or any of it. It was it was little piddly kind of things. She was very serious about making sure there was a connection between the PTSA here at City and Blanford. She knew that it was difficult and tried to so support we, that. And then there's been such a transition with leadership and teachers individual. specifically at Blanford that that's been a challenge. I know this year. Yeah, we tried to have the liaison of an outgoing CFE parent trying to reach out and find a new CFE parent to kind of, you know, just be a liaison and, and, and report mm -hmm. at the meetings. Um, I was one when my kids were at CFE, I tried to do that. So we would go in and present and whatever. Uh, but it's a one-year program, and so it's really, really hard mm -hmm. to get continuity. Um, and to, like you said, it's you don't know which parent's going to step in, and it's yeah, it's really it's it's difficult. But I think I, that's why we just need uniform guidelines. Yeah, but I also think it'd also probably be helpful for somebody like if I I, I was so kind of curious and wanting to get involved in when I mean was at you know because we were still trying to make that decision. Of, of, are we going to go to city? Or are we going to go someplace else? I feel like it would have been great to have had, you know. But so I'm, I guess my question is, are we asking them? Are we going to CFE every, um, you know, at the beginning of the school year and saying, we your parent volunteer? Yes. We so we are. Other than because I never I, heard about it when Emmy was there. I just saw it come through on the because we were included on the highlights. Oh, so other than this year, um, in past years, I've always gone to each school's orientation and done like a huge. And this is and who we are. And, right, that's, that's the thing. Okay, so, yeah. Well, for Angela did it, I did it at Blanford. Yeah. Carol Carr did it for me. And yeah, so. And it's like we. Because they have a presentation at the auditorium and we generally help out with the pickup or whatever. And yeah. So we, we just pop in and, and say hi. And we are. So you were my person when Isabel was at Blanford. In like direct COVID year. Oh, mm -hmm. or, and, and that's also the, that should I wasn't be, the chair, but I was, the yeah, goal is to put it out there and make sure like they are probably the ones who are better equipped to know who would like be willing to do it. Um, but just we remind them regularly, hey, come to me. And, uh, and I think they're actually CFE used to really not ask for anything or whatever. And now they understand that we're there to support them. And so they will ask much more. Like they will ask for help. They will ask us to pay for certain things directly. Like in your book, I'm like, I have the card. Give me the thing. We'll just pay it online and then we'll figure it out. Like, can we do that? I'm like, yes, we can. And so. So we uh, have a question yeah. online. Um, Addie, do you want to unmute yourself to ask your question? Yeah, it's for the um, community updates. Um, as far as I know, nothing came about uh, the DEI committee. So I was wondering if there would be an update on what's on what, if there was going to be an actual, if this want to be an actual priority next year, given that it wasn't this year. It was a priority this year. Um, we worked very hard at communicating with the district and with several um, parents here. Um, I believe you were at the meetings that we were able to have. Um, Ardina will be taking over as the chairperson. Um, we've, I think you might have missed one of the meetings that um, guest speaker that our guest speaker was at, but um, that will be to the meetings and that kind of thing will be determined and filtered out next year when when it's figured out. So. 
it seemed, I'm gonna be honest, it seemed like it was a priority in the moment. It became, it felt like a yacht, it was a box that was checked. So it's like that meeting came and everything stopped. So that's why I said, that's what, that was my question. That was wondering if it would be actually be a priority all of next year and not just part of the year. Well, thanks for your input. And as May I said, that. Um, that will, oh, sure. go ahead, Ardina. I was saying the answer is yes. And uh, you may want to take a look at the last minutes or the maybe a couple, two, two or two minutes ago, minutes that we have from the meeting so you can see the new mission statement related to that particular committee. I uh, have. So, yeah, so yeah. So we'll be sending that was the goal is to make. To so the goal was just to make a mission statement. That was the DEI committee's goal. That's the first step. Um, the first step, and it's like you said, we do not want to do something that in a rush. I do think that this committee needs to be um, done in, and and work with the TSA so that we understand where we're going. Um, so I think that if it, it might not be going as fast as we would like. Part of it was we waited quite a bit for replies from the district and for guidance from the district. So it, it does also, uh, I mean, the first point was to admissions. So um, it's also important to have feedback on that, which I don't think we had a lot of feedback uh, from, the, from the entire committee, but um, it's 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 a slow process, but it is a priority, and it will always be a priority since the mission is clearly that we want to embody it and be uh, an open um, group. So it is it is a priority. We don't want to rush it. Though. I think we've explained it plenty. Um, no, not really. Because so I have a quick question. So, um, it's okay to say that the ball was dropped. And, and I understand that because uh, 12 months is definitely not rushed That's at all. Um, so by priority, I mean, other than the mission statement, would there be actual action steps being taken place next school year? What it, yeah, what exactly do you want to see? Are you looking for a schedule yeah, of everything meetings? Everything that I've said Are before during the training? meeting, during the... PTSA meetings during the DEI committee meetings that did take place th through email, through developing the mission statement, because I was there when that happened and provided a lot of language. So uh, actual movement, actual action, that, that would be helpful. Yep. And um, as stated, um, this was the year that we were trying to get it going. We plan on continuing it next year. So look for some more information as the school year begins, if not before. So my only concern is that I know you just stated that, but I think that was stated almost every time we bring it up. So I think I'm just looking for something different. Okay. And maybe I a little accountability too, actually. Maybe a little accountability. Right. Yeah. Great. Well, when was the when was the mission statement approved and complete and finalized? That was in last, last a, no, was it April? In April? No, it was well before and then. May. It was well so, before April. Mission statement? For, yeah, yes. The, yeah, yes. Mission. No, it was approved in the, in the last uh, member meeting, which was in April. So because it was approved during our um, last email conversation because I'm part of those. It has to go to the whole membership. It has to the whole membership uh, so that we can present it before it it, 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 it was approved by the, the committee, but then the committee needs to present to the membership. That is how um, our committees work. And so at the last membership meeting is when it was presented and approved by the whole membership. Um, okay. So that is why so we're saying- after it was approved, they're still in between. Is what I'm saying is like, we're kicking the ball in circle. I, We're not really I, aiming towards a goal. Well, I know I, Ardina I, is on here and she is the chair person, but you know, I think if you're looking for more action, which again, it's 
what does that mean? Like, I, you kind of like need to I don't fix. Like, feel what, like what repeating myself is. Action. I know, but if you could just let me. I feel like everything I've said previously was the action steps that I was looking for, as in progress, I, as in not just developing the words that we're hoping to reach. Outside of that, I, understand that. I didn't hear what you were saying the last time, but I, if you could let me finish what I was saying was that with our Dina on here and she's the chairperson, if you're looking for more action, um, my biggest recommendation would be to talk to our Dina and become a co-chair and be part of the involvement of getting things started. <laughs> I've been, I offered that from the beginning. So everything that you think is a solution, it's already been offered. I'm part of the committee. I, I offered you, myself as a chair early on or co-chair early on. Uh, have, have you, you did not offer your. Excuse me, are you telling me something I did not do or am I telling you what I did do? So please do not, here, please do I not go there with me. Solution. Could I offer a solution? We're talking in circles in a way that's not going to be productive for anybody on this. Yeah, in this just meeting. like the DDI My committee isn't productive. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Continue. Thank you. My suggestion would be that all agendas next year include an update from the DEI committee. And my suggestion would be that the DEI committee actually meets on a regular basis. So again, that is something that we hope to do. But Hoping it's and doing is two different year. things. I, I'm not looking for hope. I'm looking for action. For people who actually wants to make this a priority, action is a priority. Well, I'm glad you're a part of the committee so you can help guide the committee and steer us in a direction that you think is more productive. Other than that, I think the conversation is complete tonight. So I'm, I'm with not that, proud. I don't think ending my conversation is based on how comfortable or uncomfortable you feel right in this moment. I do not feel uncomfortable, but there's no there's nothing more that we can discuss tonight about it because it's now on the slate for next year. Exactly. So there's different the board members, there's is... a chairperson. Mm -hmm. I think giving this more than two minutes to discuss is definitely more important than the other 15 minutes we just discussed about other random stuff. So I think giving it its due time is more than appropriate, unless you don't agree. Well, the budget is something we're required to do by the bylaws, so that is probably the most important thing because otherwise there won't be any funding for any programs next year. Is Mr. Anthem Perfect, say me? less, say less, perfect. Yes. More important than DEI, got it. So no, no, but that that the our PTSA cannot run if we don't have a budget. Um, so that's that's the what the comment meant. Um, I think that if you are part of this committee and that you feel that it's not going as fast, I didn't see any emails come through that was required that was actually um, asking to have, meet on a more regular basis or uh, have forward movement. What you need to understand is we also all are volunteers and that we have been involved many others to help the school. And so if we have other people that if that is your passion and that you want to make it uh, go faster, like I said, I would recommend um, moving forward with it and be proactive um, and to actually proactively seek out um, forward progress or faster progress. Um, sometimes we do get caught up. Um, last time it was April and then we can be finished. It's feedback. In between April and now, there have been a lot, a lot, a lot of things that have happened. Okay, I lost connection. Are you guys still there? Yeah, I, I think the main people it. had. Yeah, I think the main one had left and then it came back on. A motion. And a second. You want? No one wants to second the motion. Okay. All right. All right. Then we're adjourned for tonight. Thank you.
Janine, are you still there? Okay. Is it? Is it over? 